Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Gabriel. Sounded like I have been a super striker back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're good enough, Top Bastian. Player. Bastian, how are you? Health all good? You ha you happy? I'm, I can't complain. Family's healthy. I'm fine. Golf game is getting better. My back and the tennis is getting better. So I'm not ready for Wimbledon yet, but I'm improving with my tennis coach at home. Good man. So, Bastian, uh, just, just a quick one before we talk about uh, Bayern and Manchester United in Germany. Under-21s, uh, England have made a final to take on Spain under-21s. Germany didn't qualify. I don't understand what's happened to the young German players, Bastian. <clears throat> Well, it's a uh, it's 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 a situation where it's very tricky for the German uh, national team in football in general. I think there has been a lot of change. Uh, you know, when Pep Guardiola joined Bayern Munich when he came to the country, everyone believed that we have to play uh, this kind of football, like yeah. short get, uh, passes and everything. And we were kind of losing our values, you know, which I think uh, most of the other countries were like looking at at Germany as a fighter, as a we can run until the end and everything. The strengths got lost through the last uh, seven, eight years. Yeah. Um, we forgot about that. We were more focused on uh, playing the ball nicely to each other. And uh, that's one of the reasons. In the, just tried to explain it in, in one, two uh, sentences. But, uh, Interesting. It, it mm. takes a little longer, yeah. Yeah. Bastian, your um, old club by Munich, they're after Harry Kane, um, really keen on getting him. Do you feel that he's the missing piece in that Bayern Munich team to take them back to Champions League glory? Yes, 100%. Bayern Munich is looking for a, a striker forward, proper striker like Lewandowski. Uh, Chupo Muting is not good enough for Bayern Munich, so mm. he's more the 1B solution. Um, but Bayern Munich, yes, of course, they would like to sign Harry Kane. Um but I also know that Bayern Munich is not a club who will pay as much money as maybe the owner of Tottenham is asking for. So there will be uh, one guy who put the fist on the table and says, no, we are not paying so much, but they're looking for a striker, that's for sure. Do you know what, Bastian? I don't know if you agree, but Harry, should he go to Bayern Munich? I think he's, he's tailor-made for German football. He's <clears> strong, <throat> he's good in the air, he holds the ball up, he's a goal scorer, so he, he'd, he'd have no problem fitting into the Bundesliga. He looks like a German also, almost, uh, with his blonde <laughs> hair. Um yeah, definitely. I think that it would be a great fit. Also for him uh, himself, he has to ask himself, like, does he want to win a title in his life, in his career as a football player, you know, like a championship or, or a Champions League? And at Bayern Munich, you know, I know he's a, he's a person who, who likes to have, of course, his family and friends around him. And Munich is the best place for it. You're like, you have a beautiful area around where you can live, your family can grow up, it's safe. Um... Also, the experience uh, abroad, you know, which I had when I went to Manchester United helped me a lot. And, and I grew as a person as well. And of course, as a football player, he has a very good team around him and, and a very good coach. Yeah. So uh, a lot of things are actually uh, um, speaking for him. In his favour. Um, talk about Manchester United, of course. So you mentioned Pep there, Man City doing the treble uh, last year. United have a lot to make up. So is it going to take time, do you think, uh, Bastian? Or are United improving? Or is it going to be a few more years before they can, can compete with the likes of Manchester City? Even Arsenal, Liverpool are going to get better. The Premier now in England is so strong. It's going to take a lot for Manchester United to get back up there. Of course, but Eric Ten Hag is doing a great job. I knew him from the past at Bayern Munich at the second team. He was a coach there. Um, I think they improved. They they bought the right players now, also with Mason Mount. And uh, look, Old Trafford is a powerhouse, but away on the road, they're struggling. If you have a goal difference of minus 11 goals, you can't be a powerhouse uh, with those kind of rivals. Like you said, Arsenal, Manchester City, Liverpool, you can't compete. Like You have to be better uh, on the road. How do you feel about the way Manchester United have treated David De Gea? You know, talk about giving him a contract. He signed. They took it away. You know, he was an ex-teammate of yours, probably a legend of that club, over 500 games. It's not really the right treatment for him, is it? Well, obviously, it's not uh, the best uh, yeah, picture, you know, which Manchester United shows in the world if, if they handle it uh, that way. But uh, obviously, they want to make a change. It's also clear that uh, maybe I think Onana, they're trying to get to sign him from Inter, who Eric Ten Hag knows very well from Ajax. But 
I always think uh, you could you could get um, yeah better deals, especially with those players who who did a lot for 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 those clubs. Bastian, what about uh, looking ahead now to the Euros in Germany? Um, you know, Germany at the moment, do they have to change? Do they, do you think they have to change coach to have uh, have a successful Euros? Um, no, they have to actually just change the uh, mentality, like towards the game. Um, look, we were like always looking for players who who have a lot of potential and everything. But I think right now it's not to ask for players for potential. It's asking for players who have the right mentality and and work rate during the game. That's what was missing. Uh, we don't have any more of those examples. Like we only have maybe Thomas Müller and Manuel Neuer who have these experience, this example of of being a proper German uh, national team player with the right mentality. Yeah. Um, that got lost. We we lost the uh, like you said before, like England, France, the other nations uh, were overtaking us in the last years, but. We have a tournament at home, and uh, maybe the right moment, like it was, uh, it has been 2006. Also, we haven't been the best team before the tournament, but then when the tournament started in our home country, we kind of stick together, and we had a little bit of uh, yeah power in our back. So, final question, Bastian, did you enjoy your time in England? Did, was it was it happy times for you? Yes, absolutely. Whenever someone asks me about it. It was first time for me abroad, uh, um, changing the club, obviously. But I enjoyed it. People were super nice at Manchester United. I remember the first half of the season with Louis Magal, we actually were like kind of uh, up with Leicester City. Then we, we struggled a little bit. But I did enjoy a lot. Obviously, the, the second season was not the easiest for me, but um, I, I really enjoyed it. It was great to play for United at the Old Trafford. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I did enjoy it. I wanted to ask you about G. Bellingham. You know, um, we love him, English midfielder. Would you say he's got the potential to be the best midfielder in the world? I don't know, best midfielder in the world, but he was doing amazing at Borussia Dortmund. I was uh, watching live some games at the stadium and uh, just focusing on him. Obviously, I was playing the same position sometimes like him. Uh, great in his age, how experienced he already is and everything. Like, he has the potential now. Of course, he joined a big club like Real Madrid. It's going to be interesting, but I think he will get better and better. And it's, it's absolutely great for, for you guys. The English national team is growing. It's getting better. So you're very close, I think, to win a title. <laughs> Bastian, great <laughs> to you, talk Bastian. to you again. Good luck with the tennis and the golf. And I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, all the best. Gabby, Thank all you. the best. Thank you, mate. It was nice to talk to you. Finally, someone with the same speed like I had. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.